Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the afternoon edition. This is for Thursday, the 23rd of January. I'm James Spann. Cold and wet weather continues tonight. Looks like we'll squeeze in a mostly dry weekend before rain comes back next week. Let's take a look at things. There's the upper air look this afternoon. Big trough axis west of the state. And as advertised, a very wet day for the state. Rain covers much of Alabama. That was the radar composite at 2.30 this afternoon. And obviously it's cloudy pretty much statewide. Check temperatures. We are cold, mostly mid-40s, Birmingham at 44. It's only 39 for Haleyville up in Winston County with clouds and rain. But around the nation, the air is modified. No excessively cold air for now. But that will probably change here in 7 to 10 days with cold air recharging and dropping to the south again. Got winter weather advisories today for parts of the mountains of the Appalachians north and east of the state. Also for parts of Missouri, Kansas, Nebraska, Illinois. This is the severe weather outlook through tonight. And obviously in a cold air mass, we have no chance of any severe weather and really not much thunder. Maybe some scattered thunder for the southern part of the state tonight. Tomorrow, got a risk of thunderstorms on the eastern seaboard. No severe weather expected. And on day three, which is Saturday, maybe some thunder through parts of Texas and Oklahoma. Here's the precipitation for the next seven days. Again, the heaviest along the upper Pacific coast. In Alabama, rain amounts between one and one and a half inches between now and early Thursday morning of next week. So model fans, let's go. Here's the GFS. This is the 12Z run, valid tomorrow at 3. Got a deep upper low swinging through here. And the bulk of the rain should be gone early in the day. This big rain mass sweeps out early. And the question is, could there be a few showers underneath that upper trough? This is the high-res NAM at 3 o'clock, and it's really not showing much. There might be a sprinkle somewhere, maybe a spot of light rain in uh, scattered locations, but obviously the decent chunk of the day tomorrow should be dry. Clouds will linger much of the day. The high will be in the low 50s. The sun might peak out at times, but probably not a lot. This is Saturday as the weekend begins. A dry day, a mixture of clouds and sunshine. The high would be in the low 50s. Now, this is Sunday, a little wave coming through the Gulf, and it looks like the sky will be mostly cloudy Sunday, and it's certainly conceivable we might see some light rain maybe by Sunday night. The high Sunday should be in the low 50s. This is Sunday night at midnight, suggesting a chance of some light rain. Nothing heavy, but maybe a little bit. This is Sunday night coming off the European, fairly similar, and this is Monday off the GFS. So I'd say we'll mention a chance of scattered light rain Sunday night, Monday morning. Nothing too heavy. Monday, mostly cloudy with a high in the 50s. This is Tuesday. Here comes the next wave off to the west. Again, a decent chunk of the day. Tuesday should be dry with upper 50s. That rain creeps in here Tuesday night. And then Wednesday, that wave is on by. But the Europeans suggesting we still could see some rain. So it's a fast-moving flow with these waves coming by from time to time. So, again, we'll mention a chance of rain Tuesday night and Wednesday. And then Thursday of next week, the next wave is over Texas. And, again, rain breaks out to the west. If this is right, Thursday would be dry with highs in the 50s. Let's go out to the next day. This is Friday of next week, the 31st of January. Got a wave coming right through here with a good chance of rain. And then the following day, Saturday, the 1st of February, maybe some lingering rain with a, a surface low east of the state. And then this is Sunday, the 2nd of February, troughing well to the east. That looks like a really big nor'easter if this develops for uh, the northeast United States with a chance of heavy snow. But the European looking a little different, but still some chance of snow there. But for us, this would be much colder if this verifies on, again, Sunday, the 2nd. Rain for Birmingham off the next 15 days from the European Ensemble. Rain amounts between 2 and 2.5 two and inches. Temperatures very close to average for the next seven days. Highs in the 50s, lows in the 30s and 40s. This is the new CPC outlook. This is valid January 31st through February the 6th, suggesting temperatures here right at seasonal averages. But if you go out in the three to four week outlook, it shows below average temperatures for much of the eastern 
half of the country. And like we've been talking about, winter is far from over. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes in the blog. The next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. You can catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening and God bless. AS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort.